This is a short video tutorial on how to set up a simple VST chain of effects to help your USB microphone, which I have right here using the Zeta A2J, the AJ bridge, to bring in my USB microphone. The normal microphone is a Realtek coming in here, but it's very noisy and it's, it's not even worth messing with. But the USB microphone is, is pretty good. It's made from Andrea and it's just a USB dongle and it has it's a, has some nice circuitry in it to uh, to help with voice. I think some people use this for uh, t you know talking to text so voice to text like Dragon. So it makes a good microphone for that. Anyway we're using a noise filter, an EQ, and compressor, limiter, and expander and a de-esser. And let's go take a look at these three plugins. These two are Windows plugins, but they work fine in Carla, KX Studios, and Falk TX's great work. This is a native Linux plugin. So first, let's go to Reefer, the Replug. And we've already built up a noise in subtract mode. We've built up a noise profile. So you get things set up, then quite you become quiet and then click that and let it build up for 15 or 20 seconds and then unclick it then you can talk over it the red line is the profile and here's what it sounds like without it you may hear some rain and hiss and my voice will sound a little bit different and that takes all of that out and you just have to, uh, the trade-off is you're going to get a little electronic sounding in your voice. But it's not that bad. And if you're uh, just making a regular phone call or something, it's not that important. And I'll let you decide uh, if this is recording quality or not. But I think it's well worth the effort to get rid of noise. And here's the EQ. I'm going to take the EQ off. So I have trebles, mids, and bass right here are off. And now they're back on. We also have compression, a little bit of post compression. And I'm going to take it off all the way. And that's what it sounds like. And now it's back on. You can add a little bit of uh, expansion and compression. We'll take it to this way. So that's what that sounds like might want to take this down just a little bit there. Watch your watch your levels here. And we'll close in a little bit. And that's what that sounds like. So we'll take that out so you have a little bit less volume. So you can mess with this. And kind of it's better if you record your own voice and then listen to a recording of it as you go through these tests to set these levels. And once you have them set you should just save as. That should bring all the everything back just the way you set it. Now for the de-esser. This is a pretty good control even just at default. And it's taking the S's from the sibilants. And since we've increased the treble in VB tool here, you're going to run into some trouble with the S's being too powerful. So this is what it sounds like without the de-esser. And now we have this back in. You can adjust all this a little bit, but the default's not too bad. And the patch bay is pretty convenient. Sending the audio to the recorder and also to the sound card or whatever other application you want to send your microphone audio to. I thought this was fairly interesting and we wanted to... Uh, Get this out for you guys to inspect and see what you thought. Thanks for watching.